John Wiley Price's tax returns were dissected in court today by IRS agents. The government trying to prove the Dallas County Commissioner tried to hide a million dollars in bribe payments. Fox 4's Sean Rabb was in court as the line-by-line -line tax testimony played out today. Sean. Right, Stephen. The taxes of Daphne Fain and Kathy Neely both indicted with Price, along with Karen Manning, who accepted a government plea deal on her tax fraud case. The day began, though, with federal judge Barbara Lynn giving government prosecutors an earful outside the presence of the jury. John Wiley Price's defense team had not received grand jury testimony from witnesses the government now wants to call to testify. Judge Barbara Lynn not happy. There is a motion to exclude certain witnesses from testifying in the case as a result of that. Trial attorney Krista Castaneda observing court proceedings. We also heard, if we believe the government, that Mr. Price was getting a lot of income from a lot of different sources that he wasn't reporting. That is the government's allegation. The really interesting thing here is whether the, those failure to report income are outside the limitations period that the defendants argue is applicable. Hundreds of thousands to Price from Daphne Fain, Kathy Neely, and Karen Manning's art gallery where Price sold his African art. Lots of Furniture Antique Warehouse is where Price bought the African artwork. That income too, unreported. Prosecutors say because of the payments from the three women, illegal income. What the government showed was that there were payments made. What I think the defense is going to try to show is that the government didn't address all of the payments back and forth and still can't disprove that these were for other purposes other than income. The government's case is winding down, ramping up, speculation as to whether Price will take the stand in his own defense. I think what's going to happen is his attorneys are going to see where they are when the government rests and make a determination does the jury think there's a reasonable doubt about what the government's trying to prove? And if they feel like there's a reasonable doubt, then most likely they will not put Mr. Price on the stand. So the judge today did not rule on the motion to exclude those additional witnesses, at least not yet. That's real important, though, because the defense has to have a fair opportunity to see the government's evidence before they have to try their case. Judge Lynn firm, but fair, holding both sides to the rule of law. Heather? All right, Sean, thank you.